come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate off. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us today. <laughs> reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Aries. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Now without further ado, let's start the reading. I hope everybody had a great weekend and a week. everything's going good so far for the beginning of the week all as well. And I'm using Stranger Things tarot deck. But, you know. Oh, come on now. There's way too many cards to slip out. Magician. No, no, too many. The High Priestess. So we have the Magician and the High Priestess here. Gemini and Pisces energy. It don't have to be, but you know, that's just generally speaking. And then we have the Page of Dice, which is the Page of Swords. Justice, Libra Energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Page of Scoops, which is Page of Pentacles. Okay, now we're going to start with the Magician. I'm picking up this is more your energy, even though it's the Magician. Again, that's why I said, generally speaking, that's what they represent. But it can also, depending on what energy you're embodying. So I'm, I'm picking up, this is more of your energy. So you have the skills and the know-how is what I'm picking up on what you're doing. But I'm also getting, for some reason, a confused look on, the, on his face here. So... Despite you knowing what you're doing and having the skills to do so, there's something that's causing some form of confusion for you at this point. I'm, I'm picking up trying to get things off the ground running. So your, your project or your business or whatever the endeavor you're working on right now is having a time trying to really get off the ground at this point. And you're confused as to why it's not working because you have the skills 
and you know the know-how and you and you have everything in what seems like an alignment and all your ducks in a row and that's where I'm picking up the confusion you're confused why is it not working in the way that you're hoping to and then we have the high priestess well this in the upright it would be good energy I'm not even getting bad energy off this so there might be somebody in the background is what I'm picking up. There's someone in the background you're not able to see that may be trying to help you out and trying to reach out to you, especially with Elle's hand reaching out like this. And then I see also with this fist, her holding a fist. I feel like whoever it is that's wanting to help is holding themselves back from reaching out to let you know they want to help you in some way. And I'm picking up, it might be somebody you're not even aware of. Like, it's not even someone you know. It, it may, be, may or may not be an acquaintance even. So it might be someone in the background that you're not aware of. But they're wanting to reach out to you to help you. Obviously, they have something that they can give you or help you out in some way. And I'm picking up, if they listen more to their intuition, they'll be able to see when is the right time to reach out and i'm picking up they might be doing that the reason why they're holding themselves back as well and i'm getting a yes in my mind's eyes so yes uh, they're waiting till the right time so this person is very intuitive obviously so they're reaching out they're waiting to reach out after their intuition guides them and shows them it's okay to reach out to you to help you out with your project or your endeavor or whatever it is that you're working on i'm picking up is some form of craft And right here with this right here, it looks like a notepad in her hand. I haven't got to this part yet, but I'm being pulled to this for a reason. This could be someone's secretary. If you have, if you have a, a position that you have a secretary or assistant of some sort, it might be your secretary holding themselves back. So you could, so for some of you, it might be somebody you actually know. You just not, you don't might not know them outside the office but they're not wanting to reach out to tell you what you need to know yet because they're holding themselves back due to waiting until the right moment. So maybe it's because they're trying to make sure that they don't say something too soon because they don't want to give you an empty promise is what I'm picking up. So they want to make sure that the timing is right so it will help you. So whoever is assisting you at this time, whether it's an assistant or secretary or just someone that you might have been having some form of help in some way, is holding themselves back until the right moment to give you that extra helping hand. That's just for a specific few. I'm picking up three or four people might resonate with that part of the message. So just take what resonates and leave out the rest. So don't take that part if it don't apply to you. Doesn't, and I'm also picking up, that doesn't mean that this reading is not for you, just not that specific message. Now with the page of dice, we have the, which is the page of swords. Someone's definitely watching you. I'm picking up not maliciously. So it's someone who's actually watching out for you. Again, this is all coming into alignment together. It's more than likely someone you do know. You're just not acquainted with them like a friend. It's not someone who's your friend. It might be more of an acquaintance. But then again, it might be just someone that's within your circle that's aware of you, but you may not be aware of them. And they see your struggles that you're having at this time and would like to be able to help you, but they want to make sure that all their ducks are in a row and listening to their own intuition before reaching out to you so it's not too soon. So it doesn't make more problems for you is what I'm picking up. And they want to balance and weigh out things and make sure that the situation is exactly the way it needs to be and weigh out the pros and cons of the situation before giving you that sound advice to make sure that it is sound advice. Then we have the page of scoops, which is a page of pentacles. And with this page of pentacles, this is about this person finally reaching out to you and giving you a business proposition is what I'm picking up. So obviously whoever, uh, the ones of you that's going to resonate with this reading, this is more of a, whether you're working on an endeavor, whether it's a creative endeavor, business of endeavor, whatever creative or project you're working on, is something you're trying to pick up off the ground. I'm also hearing restaurants, so somebody, especially when you have this register here, 
I'm also picking up somebody might be starting a restaurant or just get trying to get it off the ground or maybe they hadn't even got it all even having the grand opening yet and they don't know exactly what's the hold up the reason why I can't quite get it going and some of you I'm picking up of uh, an endeavor that you might be working on or thinking about starting is something like at a flea market where you sell some items but you just feel like you're with that confused look here with this whoever res resonates with this part the confused look is wondering do you really have everything ready for that to uh, to start doing so as in start selling yet or is there something that you're missing and this there might be someone and I'm picking there's not a might I'm picking up there is someone that is wanting to reach out to you again it could be an acquaintance someone that just knows you from your circle or it might be to someone you just know that you've been working with but you don't know outside of that so you don't know them on a personal level but when they reach out to you this is going to be sol a solid advice because the page of sco scoops which is page of pentacles is the most mature page there is in the, all the pages so it's going to be something that's useful and practical so it's not going to be useless information that they give you so it's going to be something that's going to be helpful to help give you get you that good start on a practical level and on a physical level so that extra push you need so i'm going to see what i'm getting overall before moving on to the oracle i'm picking up with this page of dice here with the way this light is shining here with will This is going to feel almost like an epiphany moment when this person gives you this message. An epiphany moment for you. And with this shocked look on her face, she's I'm picking up this person's going to be shocked that you didn't take her message in the wrong way. Because I'm feeling like she maybe she's used to you being a little bit, of course, with this being an Aries reading, you know, not course not meaning that in a negative way or anything but the Aries tend to be blunt and maybe she's a little she or he whoever it may be a little bit intimidated by you is what I'm picking up so I'm picking up advice to you not to tone yourself down obviously because that's just your that's who you are but maybe make yourself a little bit more approachable so that maybe this person will be more open to reaching out to you to help you just don't you know just be yourself obviously which you'll do anyway being Aries you will but just let your guard down enough to so this person won't be too intimidated to reach out to you and again with the shocked look you do this it'll be shocking to this person but it'll make it to where it'd be easier for them to give you this sound advice so that's the advice on this situation be uh, keep an open mind i'm also getting with this confused look too you might you're both have the, this both of these have confused looks on their face if you really look at it which is you know something i'm picking it's really drawing my attention so you might be equally shocked you're shocked that this person had this kind of information to give you when they give it to you and this person will be shocked that you didn't react in the way that you that they expected you to maybe they thought you would just like ah no go away i don't need that and you might have you might end up reacting in a different way than they expect because it actually is sound advice and not something useless it's actually useful to you and i'm also getting a shock look too because this is actually going to come out and work out for you and actually be something that's going to work for you in, the, in a practical physical sense and I'm also getting another shocked look on this um, card here because it's just going to be a little bit shocked too that you actually that for for this person to that you took the advice. So I'm picking up whoever's truly resonating with this and takes this advice, and this person really reaches out in the way that this is all showing. You're both going to be in shock due to how everything is just all of a sudden 
works out for you. And I'm picking up that you want to reward this person in some way, of course, however you see fit. But of course, that's up to you. That's just what I'm picking up on. And I'm also picking up, you may decide to take up being this person being your partner even for some of you because they actually have what you need to get farther, but you'll be able to help them as well because let's say if they were your assistant or your secretary in some way, and if you actually bring them on as your partner, that'll actually give them a, a promotion at the same time, and which means better pay for them, for example. It doesn't have to be that, just give an example. So this will be a win-win for both of you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Oracle now, the Angel Answers Oracle. Let's see what this has to say on the situation overall. Meditation brings answers, and this being underneath the magician, at this time you're being guided to take a deep, even if you don't meditate, take a deep, uh, go seek deep within you at least, and really contemplate on the situation and how you can not only help yourself, but letting yourself be open to this help that's about to come your way. Excuse me. Don't tell the hiccup that I'm trying to come through. <laughs> okay. But anyway, this will also help you get ready for what all you're trying to get put together to, to help you seek the answers more and get more of the answers to your questions. And also use your discernment on whether to accept this person or not too, obviously, as always, use your own discernment. a new direction so you may be surprised if this person's approach is about you taking a different approach is what I'm picking up so not only a new direction like a new approach maybe uh, that I'm picking up this is going to be something that maybe you didn't even think of and it's going to feel like it's taking you in a whole different direction but it's it's helping you to push forward by taking a different stance on the situation. They're going to be bringing you something that's going to be new and it's going to feel like you're being redirected, but it's going to be in a way that's going to help you push this project or endeavor forward or business, whatever it is for you so that it can take, make, go the distance that it needs to really lift up off the ground and take off running. I'm not going to take that one because of the way that just barely flipped. Okay, we have the, the situation will improve. So, by taking it, you willing to take this advice as I'm picking up, especially with the page of dice, whoever is watching over you at this time or helping you out in some way. Are going to this will help the situation for you to improve for your business your endeavor your project and help things move forward and I'm also picking up it could be something that you've already had it established but you might have had a slowdown so this advice use your own discernment obviously is going to help get things moving again by taking this advice is what I'm also picking up Take it however resonates, but always use your own discernment.
peaceful resolution. So this is also going to bring you a peaceful resolution in this situation and help balance things back out again for you and really help bring everything full forward, full circle moving forward. And I'm also picking up with this rainbow and this heart space being lit up. Really be open. Keep an open mind and open heart to the situation, but use your own discernment. And at the bottom of the deck, we have wait. So I'm picking up, there's going to be a waiting period for this to happen. Because again, this person, especially with the wait here, this person is holding themselves back until the right time because they're waiting on their own intuition to reach out to you. So you're going to have to be patient, which I know that's asking a lot for an in Aries to be patient, but I mean, obviously not saying that all Aries are going to be always impatient, but I mean, especially if you're more evolved, but the point is you can have your moments of not being patient. I mean, everybody can it really, but anyway, point is don't get hasty, be patient and wait because this person is not just trying to hold off to be a jerk, for instance. They're really just trying to make sure their own ducks are in a row and that they reach out at the pinnacle moment that they're meant to, listening to their own intuition and guidance that they're get, being given. And at this time, this is when you can use this meditation to help not only with your patients, but to use your own discernment to see if this is a good idea for you to accept this help. Again, you know, from the advice point for me with the reading here, it, I don't get any bad energy, but you always want to use your own discernment as always. So you need to rely on your intuition and your guidance and your discernment as always. I'm going to see what I'm getting overall before I close out this reading. I'm not picking up anything else. I'm feeling a void here. So I'm picking up. This is all that needs to be said at this time. So take, so I hope this really helped you in some way and brought you some form of clarity and that showing you that there is some form of help trying to get ready to reach out to you that you're not going to be just stuck where you are. But at this time, again, just meditate or go into a deep contemplation about the situation and using your own discernment and intuition. And instincts. Anyway, with that being said, and it's all for the reading. Be sure to turn on be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.